Hello everyone, this is Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. I am on Instagram under the same handle, Watch Natalie, spelled with two E's. That's how I spell my name. N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I am going to do a reading for, a daily reading for tomorrow, May 13th. And I'm going to use the Rider Waite tarot deck, the original. Yeah, I still don't look how I usually look, but these videos are not about how I look, so I don't want to read any comments about it. You know, someone tried to take a picture of me the other day. Again. I don't like that. I was out um, at the Illinois Secretary of State, the DMV, and the guy tried to pull one of these, you know, like trying to keep his phone close to his chest and get me, you know. I'm telling you, it is a very dark day when an empress like myself has to move among the great unwashed public. That's a joke if you didn't get that. It's a body language thing that men don't like to be approached straight on with your shoulders and women don't like when you stand behind them so he he was kind of I was behind him and he was just, it was so obvious so I got in his face and I kind of squared my shoulders to him and I went like that you know and he he like he put his phone away hate it. This other time, I was in my car. I need like five more shuffles. I really need to mix these cards up more. I, I shuffle these cards so much and I'm there's cards I haven't seen in years. <laughs> I'm gonna just like really shuffle. And there's like the Scorpio energy that keeps that just won't leave me alone. So I just like I just want to shuffle really 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 well for this daily reading. Yeah, I was, in my, I was in my car and I was sometimes I just drive and I park and I just like mentally prepare myself for going out and being in public. And that's what I was doing. I was sitting in my car trying to have a private moment to myself. And I, and I looked to my look to my left and there's a guy with a phone recording me. I was like, "Oh hell no." So I got out of my car knock on his windshield he rolls down the window I said excuse me excuse me could you please delete whatever you just recorded of me and he tried to make it off like he didn't speak English and I said I know that you understand what I'm saying I know that you know that I'm asking you to erase whatever you took of me can you please delete it now in front of me couple more shuffles I don't remember this but my mom has this story about when I was a little girl she took me to Marshall Field <laughs> such a Chicago story when I was a young girl mother took me to Marshall Fields you know the old department store that's not there anymore and I guess I she just she was browsing and I just like was tugging on her and hiding behind her and like crying she said Natalie what's wrong and I said that, I asked her, why is everyone staring at me? I don't know why I'm going off on this. Maybe it's like my Mother's Day, Mother's Day story time with Natalie, with Watch Natalie. Okay, here we go. I'm done. I just wanted to, no, I don't need to cut it. Let's just see. Whoa, that's too many cards though. Okay, Thursday, Monday, Oof. Monday, 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 
Monday. Monday general reading. What do we have? Almost popped out, right? But then it changed its mind. It said, you know what? I changed my mind. That's okay. Tarot cards can change minds too. Ooh, Eight of Cups. So someone has really made up their mind about something. Either you or someone else. Someone's really... Now, it might look a little bit unfortunate or ominous with this person walking away from Eight Cups, Golden Cups, but it's not really that bad because he's walking away from something that he knows is not serving him anymore. He's walking away from something that no longer serves him. He's walking away from something that did not give him the result that he wanted. He's walking away from something that before he was running towards or he was seeking or that he was pursuing. And now, you know, no one needed to take it from him. No one needed to manipulate him out of it. He is voluntarily using his free will to walk away from it out of his own volition because he knows that it's not of any value. He knows that it's not worth anything. See? It's also a major decision being made definitively about something. So if you or someone else was on the fence about something, should I stay or should I go? Like that. You've made up your mind or the other person has made up their mind. And it's like there's no going back now. Like once you decided to walk away or once you decide to walk away, once the other person decides to walk away, that's it then you like set out and you just like you have full confidence and full faith that there's nothing in these cups that's for you that you want you've learned or someone else has already learned those cups are empty those cups are empty empty cups so it's not even like you're walking away from anything that was good. You're walking away from toxicity. Someone's walking away from something that, that isn't good for them, that's no longer serving them, that's like, that they've come to an awareness about. They've been thinking about it. This moon, see the moon? The unsettled kind of moon. They've been thinking about it. They finally made up their mind. They finally know that it's time to walk away. They finally feel... The confidence, thank you. Thank you. The confidence. They finally feel the confidence that it's the right thing to do to walk away. To walk toward away from something towards something else. <gasps> They're walking away from a third party situation. This has nothing I feel like this has nothing to do with you. I feel like they are walking towards a third, sorry, they're walking away from a third party situation and they're, they're leaving it behind. And they know something about this situation that has nothing to do with you. Okay, it could be you walking away from the third party situation, but I feel like it's them. I just feel like it's them. I feel like it's them walking away and yeah. So whatever, I know it looks like they're like happy and celebrating and there's drinks and there's la dee everyone's got expensive robes and everyone's la 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 la, but it's like empty. Like he already knows that it's empty. This was not giving him the result that he wanted or that he thought he was going to have or get out of it. He thought he was going to get something out of it. He thought he was going to be one of the three celebrating. No, not the case. Not the case. And he's walking away from it. He's walking away. You, he, someone else or you walking away from a third party situation. So yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with you. <gasps> Ooh, now we're getting into it. So this other person is an incredibly strong person. And I bet this person... See, if this other person is walking away from something, it means that at one point they were walking towards it. And to get to the point where you're, you know, like the devil card that has the two people that are chained to the pedestal, to the beast, they put those chains on themselves. 
what you walked towards, what someone was walking towards, it was a toxic situation that they were like, okay, let's do this. Yeah. And now that they're walking away from it, it's like they had this epiphany. They had this realization that it was not good for, like, that's not what I want anymore. Okay, I don't want that anymore. It's not great for me. And they need incredible strength to do this. There's a big energy energy movement forward happening right now where this person or you either they're getting strength from you or you are feeding them strength or you are getting strength for yourself or they are cultivating strength for themselves but it's real strength it's not the Hitler strength what video was I talking about that in I forgot but it's it's if you can see he, she is taming the wild beast by looking into his eyes so looking into someone's eyes and seeing what they are projecting inside of their soul forward that you can read on their eyes, that's the key to the strength card. You can look into someone's eyes and you can just like be hypnotized and you can read. And that's why eye contact is so important and sustaining eye contact is so important. It's actually one of the reasons why I liked... Um, Scorpio so much is because they were the only people that would like maintain eye contact with me freaks right um but look she's looking into this it's beauty and the beast that's so romantic she's looking into his eyes it's like he's like ah, ah, I'm a beast ah, ah, I don't trust anyone ah, I don't like anyone ah, ah, get away get away get away get away get away ah uh, and he's just like, you know, I'm like, uh, look at me, I'm scary, I'm powerful, I'm mean, I'm vicious, I'm, I have a castle, I have wealth, I have, I don't need you for anything, I don't need anybody for anything, it's just me and my castle and my beastliness, uh, you know. And then she comes along with the cosmic lemnus gate above her head, and it's like just in a passing glance, and then it's all over for him, it's all over for the beast. Because once that starts, that eye contact starts, the longer they hold it, the longer she is holding this eye contact with him, it's like she can feel him just loosening, like a valve that's released. And he's able to just relax. And he knows that she's not going to do anything, like to hurt him, to betray the trust. Trust. That feels good. That feels really good when you can just look into someone's eyes and just relax. Just fucking relax. Sorry if I ruined that moment by swearing. Sorry. But it's the truth. And that's why the detail on this is so specific with the eyeball. Look at his eyeball looking up. Like that's pretty clear. Okay. So someone has been tamed or someone's taming someone or someone is healing someone th with their eyes or through their eyes or through the strength of their stare or even just what they reverberate inside like their frequency there could be something powerful to do with this third party situation like maybe this they went towards it for, I mean, there must have been incentive to go towards this third-party situation, but now it's like, okay, that did pop out. Oh, my. The Four of Cups. This person, I do not think this is you, by the way. If you're watching, oh, God, I didn't even do my whole intro because I was just like, this 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 is general, so it will not resonate for everyone. If this resonates for you, cool, go with it. If it doesn't, just exit the reading. And you will intuitively know if this resonates or not. Okay? And plus, energy, time spirals. So what does that mean for energy? You can watch this May 12th or... Yeah, May... 13th. You can watch this for the date of the reading, May 13th, or it could resonate for you three years from now. You're guided to this reading for a purpose, for 
you know, some reason or another and time doesn't really matter. So don't even pay attention to that. So back to what I was saying, this person, I don't think this is you, whoever this is, whatever sun sign you are, I really don't. The feeling that I'm getting is that this other person, the one that we're channeling right now, they didn't see something before. They couldn't Or they didn't trust their intuition or see how he has these three cups that he's looking at. We think we don't know if he's sleeping or not. And then there's this beautiful cup coming out of nowhere from thin air. And his arms are crossed. His legs are crossed. I mean, very clear body language signals. It's like he either doesn't see it. He actually is probably maybe even closed off to being able to see something like that. Or... He doesn't trust what he sees because he doesn't trust himself. And he so he misses it. This could be regret. Sometimes this is my higher standards card where I'm like, you have high standards and you're not going to take crumbs. And you're not going to settle for a crummy situation. You don't settle. But for this, I really feel like... Wow, all these cup cards. Eight, three, four... Yeah, he chose, see, this is three and this is four. So three comes before four. So in the past, I feel like, go with me here. In the past, I feel like he wanted these cups, the three of cups. He wanted this third party situation and he rejected when this fourth, come, fourth, <laughs> this fourth cup came in. He rejected it. He didn't want it. He couldn't, he wasn't in a position to like, accept it or understand it or you know whatever it is and now now he's walking away <sighs> now he's walking away from these cups from this third party situation how interesting That's, I don't know this is someone's reading. This is very, very clearly someone's reading. You know, sometimes I could be channeling for one person or for a lot of people. I don't, I don't know. It comes through how it comes through. I'm not going to make this freaking Lord of the Rings either. This is going to be a 20 minute reading. <laughs> I'm cutting it off at 20 minutes. Ooh, yeah, you're really defending yourself, whoever this is for. Whoever is doing this, it's like they have to fight. To It's like a big energy. I'm feeling a big energy push forward. There's that full moon in Scorpio this week, this Saturday, May 18th, I think. And look at all these staves trying to get at him. There's going to be opposition. There's going to be blowback. There's going to be, you know, but you, the, the most important thing to know about this card and the message is that you're the winner. Is that you're winning. Well done, you. Why are you winning? Because you have strength. You have real strength. You have Belle from Beauty and the Beast strength. This person does. Maybe you're the strength for this person. Or if you're this person, you're getting your strength from someone that has um, maybe a hypnotic stare. Or hypnotic for you, like relative, you know. It could be anybody. It could be any pair of eyes, like your pet, animals, children, lovers, husbands, wives, moms, dads, brothers. You know, you get the idea. <laughs> I don't have to like list everything that has a pair of eyes. <laughs> That's why my things are so long. Jeez Louise. Okay, one more card. One more card in like 40 seconds. What's the last? Okay. Oh, perfect. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, universe. After you do this, you will be so happy. You will have everything you've ever wanted. This is the wish fulfillment card. You're making a wish come true. Someone's making a wish come true. Wow. You get everything you want. You get everything that's coming to you. Whatever you didn't, whatever did not manifest with this third party situation, whatever you didn't get with this third party situation, you know, whatever you rejected in order to continue this third-party situation. 
you, you, you're not missing, you don't, you walk away in time. You're like, you're saving, you're, you're doing your, your work, your hard work, and you do it in time because, oh, I thought it wasn't plugged in. Jesus Christ. Okay. So you're doing your work. You did the work, you know, this is like happening this week. Okay. This is, this is Monday's reading the Monday daily, but this is like leading up to the full moon in Scorpio, but this is the wish fulfillment card. Okay. This is the energy at play. So the end result is that you get everything that you ever wanted. This is, you're fulfilling a major wish. And this is like the closing out of this third party situation. And it's like a little karmic thing or, you know, whatever it's your own thing or the other person's own thing. Flip flop, whichever this, whichever way this applies for you. Okay. But look how happy he is. Uh, he just has all the cups. Nine of cups right before the 10 of cups. Wish fulfillment. He's satisfied, completely satisfied. Keep going. Keep drawing on the strength. Keep looking into whoever's eyes you're looking into. Keep keep the strength. Keep going. I believe in you. I want you to win. I love when I get to have good readings. I had a great reading for cancer just now. Not just now, but like, you know, back when I did it today. And it was good. It was great. And it's, it's so great to be a tarot reader, to give people good news, and to see people doing the work and getting rewards and just having the universe support them in that. So go make your wish come true. I'm here with you, rooting you on. I'm in your corner. Let me know how it goes. Talk to you later. Bye.